Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Sriracha the Heroic here at 4.50am unsure of what to do again. So, uh, here I am talking with you. Um, I guess now that, uh, I've gotten past the uh, creative drought conversation, I can go to the next one, which is, uh, wasting my time. Uh, and the lovely waste of time that I'm sure many people enjoy, uh, such as Overwatch, uh, Minecraft, a big special one in my heart right now being BDO, uh, playing certain games to an extent where even if you're not enjoying them, you just kind of play them to play them, you know? And I've been questioning why that is. You feel like video games are addictive. Oh, shocker. Fucking everything's addictive once it's a hobby. Once you enjoy something, you're going to want to do it constantly. That's the thing. Uh, the video games are bad for you because you're sitting down on the screen all day. It's not as good as a plane building hobby or something where you're doing something with your hands. Ah, get out. It doesn't matter. There's esports, there's professional level stuff. I'm not saying I'm ever going to get to any level like that. I am not mechanically skilled enough. But, uh, games are a very enjoyable experience, but one that I feel as though are, uh, detrimental to your health a bit. But, uh, I can't break out of the habit, I guess. Um, it's less so that I'm even enjoying it anymore and more that, uh, I feel like I need something to do. You know, I can do exercise and stuff, but there's monotony to that, it doesn't give you the happy chemical the feelings of success you know that instant achievement boner you get that that big old rush of happy chemical when you're like oh man i clicked this cookie for half an hour and now i have 500 cookies and it's making auto cookies if you're wondering what game i'm talking about it's cookie clicker it's a phone game that i played in high school and i remember putting a lot of hours into it until saying yeah, I'm done. I, I, I think I've gotten all the happy I can out of this. And, uh, that's the thing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just here to talk about things that make me unhappy, or things that I enjoy, or weird shit maybe that I've heard. But, uh, games are one of those strange topics that makes you, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are like me. They find a great deal of enjoyment out of them. But, um, I wonder how many people got to the same point where you're like I don't enjoy this this is a terrible experience but god damn am I going to keep going there's nothing else I can do <laughs> Ooh, that was probably loud but uh think about it this way uh Overwatch Overwatch is probably the shining example of games that people play but stop enjoying uh I played Hanzo on Overwatch uh, if you don't play Overwatch, this is probably all going to go over your head. Hondo's a bowman, very fun character, projectile, very uh, out of meta, or he was for a long time, and then he got in meta. A lot of convoluted shit. Essentially, I enjoyed this character. I played him over 300 hours, uh, other characters in between, because I was a flex player. I played a lot of supports, I played tanks. But uh, my favorite character definitely to play was Hanzo, seconded only by Ana. Um, and I'd say around hour 150-ish, I was landing fairly consistent shots. I was getting very mechanically skilled. Uh, I was landing headshots. I was doing my job properly. I wasn't constantly jumping to the low ground. I mean, I still do every now and then. Uh, essentially, I went, uh, I got mechanically better. Um, I got game sense better. Everything about the game I got better at. And I was like, wow, I'm really getting good at this. And then I was done. Uh, I stopped enjoying the game. But I kept playing it because I got skilled at this thing. But um, I stopped enjoying the game. Uh, it's a team-based game, so a lot of times it feels very RNG. Even though you're all placed at a similar skill level, uh, no matter what, you're going to have a bias towards yourself. And you're going to be like, I can't be at fault. There's no fucking way I'm at fault. Everyone else is ruining my gameplay experience. How could everyone be so garbage? Why 
am I not winning? <laughs> and I was getting that feeling all the time. Um, not necessarily a gold medal jockey. Well, it's people who's like, oh, I got all golds. God damn it, I'm owed the world. But it was more like, um, wow, I really wish uh, I was getting healed more often. Even though I didn't notice maybe, like, tanks were getting less healing or someone else in the game wasn't getting as much healing or uh, maybe they were trying to help focus the target that kept getting knocked out. But uh, I would feel personally, like, wronged. And I started picking up other roles to try and pick up the slack for that. But then I would get angry uh, as a support. And I'd be like, wow, my DPS isn't doing enough damage. And maybe I wasn't healing them enough. Or, oh man, my tanks really suck at holding up their shield real good. Or maybe, maybe they're recharging their shield. Maybe they're trying to reposition. But uh, they're scared to communicate or something. There's a lot of nuances to the game. And... I understand those nuances, that new nuances, I understand those little bits <laughs> of the game pretty well, and ultimately, it means nothing, <laughs> because I stopped caring about the game around hour 150, <laughs> uh, I played it on PC, I played it on PS4, played it on Xbox, I played it on every platform, basically, through and through. Um, I've gotten about 40 hours on Xbox, a little over 300 hours on PS4, and maybe a little over 150 hours on PC. And I enjoyed the different gameplay experiences because they're different servers, different people, different play styles. It's very strange how despite the meta of the game, you know, there's just enough like a variety of players that things kind of change up. Um, but despite that, I stopped enjoying the game because I understood a part of it, the part of it that I wanted to understand. And now, uh, it's been some time since I've played Hanzo properly. I played a lot of Reinhardt and I played a lot of Anna. And then uh, I tried to pick up Hanzo again and I didn't enjoy myself. But not because I was getting good at the character and felt as though I wasn't doing enough, but because I was bad at the character. <laughs> And then I'm like, wow, I'm starting to really hate this character. And then I'm feeling that now and now, uh, now more and more, between all of the characters and all the gameplay elements. So I started dropping the game. You know, take a break from it, as you should do with most things. If you stop enjoying things, maybe you should step away from it. Try something else. And I'm still kind of a game addict because they're easy. They're, they're easy, happy chemical. Uh, I don't know if it's dopamine or serotonin. One of those. The reward chemical. The one that makes you go... Da ding Oh, man. Boy, I sure did like that sound of pinging of level and or kill and or uh, going up in rank. Uh, I picked up Paladins. That grew stale very quickly because it was just Overwatch with slightly easier <laughs> gameplay. Um, I picked up... Uh, Minecraft again, but it's only really enjoyable with friends, and my friends are uh, only enjoying vanilla, so as much as I want to enjoy the game with them, I played with mods for literal years, so I played a different form of Minecraft that they don't enjoy because they didn't play with mods for years. They felt vanilla was the true experience, you know? No one wants to play with the Minecraft engine. And then uh, I picked up BDO again. First time I picked up BDO was on PC. And I put 420 hours in it in a little under a month, maybe a little under three weeks even. I put a lot of time in that game. Like, it consumed my life uh, in high school when it first released. Because um, I really enjoy MMOs and the grindiness and the nature of like being able to go all in or AFK a little bit. And that game's combat system was very active. It felt good to, to land everything. And uh, so is the life scaling because you would see the numbers, you know, the little silver go up. Like, oh man, I'm making a lot of money doing this one task that I pressed four buttons for. Oh hell yeah. But that's because other people don't want to sit there and press those four buttons as much as you do. Uh, it's very similar to old school RuneScape. If you've ever done uh, runecrafting, um, there's a lot of life skills in BDO that are basically runecrafting 2.0 where... You're running back and forth collecting materials uh, to make 
maybe like a balanos meal or something some kind of food or maybe you're training horses for fucking ever in hopes to get a tier 8 or tier 9 to make a fuck ton of money and ultimately it all means nothing uh, you know it doesn't but god damn it if it isn't satisfying god damn if those games aren't satisfying and I'm kind of re-addicted to it on PS4 because it was recently released uh, I put a lot of hours into it but even now um, I put I've definitely put at least 60 hours into it uh, in the course of this week maybe or has it been a week? no it's only been out like 5 days I, I put a good amount of time in it I left my Playstation running like dangerous things to do a little AFK uh, and uh, I played it actively as well like as soon as I got home from work I was going into it and at some point I just dropped it I was dissatisfied and uh, I wanted to say you know it's a flaw with the game maybe it's not as engaging as I need it to be but I'm starting to feel it's more becoming a flaw with the players and a flaw with me and maybe other people feel this too where you grow a lot of attachment to a game and you really start to dedicate yourself to it and at some point you just completely burn out you're like wow I really enjoyed that I'm done <laughs> uh, the only thing I've ever really seen it happen on for most of my friends is like Minecraft um, a few of them never really enjoy playing Overwatch for long stretches of time. I fucking loved that game for long stretches of time, and then I just ceased one day. I was just like, yeah, I think I've had enough. Uh, I'm slowly getting back into it. It's been about a month or two since I last properly played, like sat down. And I mean properly played as in five, six hours going ham on uh, either quick play or comp or something. I have not done that in a while. <laughs> I maybe play a game or two because someone asked me to play and then I go, yep, uh, I'm going to go to bed now because I'm working all the time. But yeah, so what was the original point of this video? Oh yeah, gaming. Uh, that happy chemical. I wish there was some kind of alternative to either make those gameplay experiences uh, enrich your life a bit more or mayhaps a life experience in which it feels as uh, satisfying as gaming maybe that's the key to this uh, missing passion I'm feeling maybe I need both the balance of something incredibly interesting while something is also incredibly satisfying uh, maybe that's why a lot of artists enjoy art as much as they do like uh, the k-pop stands who draw their favorite Jungkook or whatever fuck the the army or whatever do you know all at ends I'm gonna get torn apart by a bunch of people who are like no that's not his name <laughs> fucking Korea booze please don't hurt me <laughs> um but yeah I feel as though uh there needs to be something that branches gaming into something productive and does it well because there's like there's a lot of educational games I say in the most unenriched unenjoyable experience the closest that ever gets to an educational game that's even somewhat palatable is like Civ and I wouldn't even say that's educational my guy would you like some 999 <laughs> Agro Gandhi because that, that's where my education is leading me. Uh, I'm thinking more along the lines of something that gives you the building blocks for something else. Or may, may so even inspire you to go even further in some other aspect of life. Uh, kind of like uh, what Japan does with anime, with, with the workout anime and stuff. Um, I'll put like text or something or maybe if I'm too lazy I'll throw it in the description the name of this anime uh, maybe someone will comment and be like oh fucking no one's gonna watch this <laughs> what's the fitness anime uh yeah one of those Japanese uh 
delictable solutions to their population's issue with exercise and otakuism and being a bit too weird and a bit too recluse, you know, try to keep people in shape uh, through their favorite mediums. So, maybe gaming needs that, 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 that push. Maybe, I'm not asking for a goddamn revolutionary, <laughs> um, what's it called? New age of gaming. Not, I'm not asking for you to <laughs> remove Nazis <laughs> from your World War II game or uh, <laughs> try to find a more powerful uh, character of a specific gender and or race and or size. Uh, I'm not asking you to change all that. I'm, I just, I just want to be interested. I want to be engaged. I want a game that makes me either feel like this game is really gripping me. It's really pulling me into its reality. I want, I want a full dive experience or something that'll be like, wow, this makes me question what I'm doing with my reality. My life may need a change. Like, the closest thing we get to that is like visual novels I guess where they go on and they uh, like the certain ones that are a little more ironic they, they really question the player's intent and they come at them and try to make them uh, get out there and do some shit not that I frequently play visual novels to uh, name any off the top of my head but uh, I've, I've, I've had the Neko Paris uh, I've had the <laughs> whatever free one occasionally comes up in my Steam recommended. I don't have no shame. You know, I looked at Honey Pop and thought for about four seconds, I might need that in my life. <laughs> but yeah. Um, something, a game that engages you to further think about what you're doing. Or a game that engages you into its reality so much that the game itself is infinitely interesting. BDO is pretty good at that. It gives you a lot to do, gives you a lot of options and pulls you in, but you know, it needs to make money, so clearly it's gonna be a little dragging about it, and at a certain point it'll get stale because you'll be doing the same things, um, even if it's inactively. Maybe uh, I could just stop gaming, and I could just start uh, lifting some fucking weights my guy go absolutely ham in the gym or maybe I can start running circuits around those uh, condom rock sculptures I was talking about creating or uh, maybe I could uh, make my own delicious sriracha hot chili sauce uh, non-branded and become some amazing cooking guru I don't fucking know I just want to be engaged. I want something to draw my attention. I want passion. And at this point, that's all this is going to be about. My lack of passion for anything. Aside from complaining. Such as my phone dying. My lack of panic. <laughs> my lack of passion for anything except for complaining. At some point, maybe, I'll find something that draws me um maybe I'll go further and start trying something on this video outlet maybe I'll try like art again <laughs> there's not that many outlets that uh, I know of at least that are available the common ones being art or writing or filmmaking uh, subsections of art there's lots of those music <laughs> uh, saying you're gonna design an app for a phone and then never actually going through with it because it's incredibly stressful to try and make an app that does something functional uh, ASMR I've got nothing. Oh, is that a train coming to hit me?